Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. Well, I had a chance a couple of weeks ago, uh, give or take, uh, to go to the Northwest Fire and Rescue Exposition here in Portland, Oregon. There's a great variety of different vehicles at the show this year, 2013. We had a stand there as well. Lots of interesting people came by to chat with us, which I really do appreciate. And again, many thanks for you who came by. Got a bunch of kids too, checked out the uh, Sirenet Fire Mini. I think they got a great kick out of that. But there were some interesting pieces of fire apparatus, and we're going to take a quick tour of some of those right now. Let's go check them out. Take, yeah, we're just taking a look at it. Looking good. I always look good.
Good morning. I'm John Glenn with the Wilbur Company. Uh, demonstrate the nine or the Night Scan 2.3. Energize the system. We'll go ahead and go up with it. The auto, auto up. This light is all LED. This particular unit will do seven and a half feet after it's deployed. And while we're going up with it, we do have full rotation. And back around. And we can come back around this way. So, this, John, this system is, is hydraulic, is that correct? No, it's pneumatic. Oh, it's it's pneumatic. all okay. it's all air. Um, this particular one doesn't need a generator to run. It runs off the chassis electricity, so it's 12 volt only. Um, the only the only option that we can't do with this one is a true backlighting. And we can get close. If we do that, you can see the illumination on both sides of the truck. And now, when you mean by backlighting, you mean basically area lighting that's down beneath the actual light itself. Correct. One air light one side of the vehicle, like this this unit here we'll talk about later. But this unit has the ability to light one side of the unit and the other side of the scene. Uh, so it, for instance, if you have a vehicle extrication you're doing on one side and incident command on the other side, you can run both scenes that way. Um, this also does have an auto park stow to it. You basically just hit the down button twice. That way it enables the engineer or the driver to put, start putting his truck away. It'll self-bed itself. And typically they have a red light in the cab of the vehicle to let them know that, yeah, everything's good, it's set, and you're ready to go. And now when you're going to go put it up, is there a different procedure that you would use to put it up? Yeah. What you do is you energize the system. You look to where it says night scan coming across, this button will illuminate. You hit it twice and it'll auto deploy. Lights will come on. And you still have full function while it's going up. It takes about 25 to 30 seconds to get it up and going. So again, the application for this type of light would be on a battalion chief vehicle, small rescue, yes. something that basically you can run it without having the generator running on 12 volts off the vehicle's electrical system. Mm -hmm. That and is correct. Since it's pneumatic, it's pretty straightforward. There's no issues, as I mentioned yeah, earlier, not with at the all. hydraulic issue. It's very simple, very easy to very, use. Yep, Fantastic. very simple. Now the larger light here. Which one is, is this particular one? This was our night scan 3.0. The 3.0 basically means it'll do 10 feet in the air. 10 feet, okay. We have a 4.5 that'll do 15 and then upwards from there. But this one also has the option with a camera on it. It's not FLIR, it's just standard definition. So same kind of thing. So a similar control head, except obviously it's larger. A little bigger. So it has more options. And we've actually integrated this whole system into the uh, control box. But now that we're energized, you see it light up again. Hit it twice. It'll auto deploy. We're going to blind a lot of people here, too. And again, this is also pneumatic. It is, it is also so pneumatic. Compressed air is what's making it rise and then releasing up that pressure as it goes. Saying earlier, this one will do backlighting. See, so yeah, I can tilt one that way, and I can bring that one down and 
feature in the model. Same. It has a camera option on it. So is that something that is customer specified? It's not standard with it? Correct. Yep, it's customer specified. Um, that camera is just a standard definition camera. You can get them high def. Uh, it also comes with IR, infrared, uh, and low lux uh, for nighttime operation. And this one has pretty much similar to the same operation as the other one did. Um, when you were done with the scene, you want to bring it back down, it's just tap that twice, push that down button twice, and it'll auto or auto step. So we can bring it down. There's to it. Well, thank you very much, John. Absolutely, really appreciate thank you. It. Thank you. Well, we're over here at the Whelan booth, and Garrett has very kindly decided to, uh, morning, Garrett, has uh, decided to tell us a little bit about uh, some brand new lightheads that Whelan has in relation to the Pioneer family of products. So, what do we have here? We have an array of the different Pioneers. On this board, you can see the, the single panel and the dual panel and the slim line. These are with the uh, bale brackets. And on the next board, you can see them with the uh, pedestal mounts. And then the semi-recessed versions. The and these are brand new light heads to a degree with respect to Whelan as far as how they mount. Again, these are the surface mount units that you're showing us here. Or recessed, actually. They're not even as much as surface mount. Would be correct in that? Awesome. So you'll have to cut into the bodywork if you want to recess this particular style of bike because of its size. This is a new light head that we have here. This is something brand new? It is. This is the uh, new surface mount, the spot flood combination, if you see there. Put them on. Nice and bright. Available in black or chrome. And on the other side over here, we've got obviously the, the PCP3, which is the bigger brother of the PCP2. And then we have the micro and then the single panels. And their little brother, the nanos, the Nano 3 and the Nano 6. Well, thanks very much, Garrett, for a quick uh, walk around of the Thank brand you. new Whelan uh, surface mount and non surface mount uh, scene lights. Thank you very much. That's fine. So if it's up, if it's up. So it's shown to you. Spielberg!
Well, there you have it. A quick tour, more or less, of the Northwest Fire and Rescue Exposition that took place here in Portland, Oregon this year, 2013. There'll be a brand new show next year in 2014. We're going to be there, but I'll be telling you more about that later in 2014. Again, as always, many, many thanks for watching Sarnet Television.